Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do it yourself. Okay, so step one of welding is uh, of course striking the rod. Uh, we're welding on half inch metal with a 7018 rod. Uh, this is basically the easiest rod to run with. It's very smooth, very, it's not very, uh, what do you call it, versatile as much as the 6013, but this is the best thing to use for half inch like this. It's the easiest one to learn on basically. So the first thing about welding is you can start it uh, with two ways. You can either tap it or scratch the metal. I like to tap it, but when you're beginning, a lot of people just like to just scratch it and then scratch it and then go back in. And that's, that's basically the easier one because it doesn't stick as much as if you just tap it. So after you tap it, you tap or, or scratch and you basically uh, let's say I'm welding, I'll tap it and I'll just hold it there until the, you'll, see, you'll see a pool of metal and once this forms to big, like the size you kind of want it, just about a centimeter and so you just start bringing it down very slowly and the rod's going to start burning up so you have, you have to keep feeding the rod down, you have, you have to keep moving your hand down while you're welding and keep it about, i say about a millimeter off the metal and just, just do you have it down. to have it angled uh like yeah 40 like 45 degree angle usually just like that okay and just form the rod i mean form the pool and just start going down very slowly do you move it like in a circle or something no no when you're first learning you just go straight down just straight down yeah just straight just watch the pool make, make sure when, while you're bringing it down don't look at the rod look at the pool just make sure it's the same size just Bring it down, okay. bring it down, bring it down. And always just make sure your the rod is just not touching the metal, but just above the metal. Because that when you when you have it at the perfect height going all the way through, that's when you get that slag peel and stuff like that when it's like when it looks really nice. And yeah, so just bring it through really slowly. And so you're actually not ever touching the metal? No. Well, sometimes you'll like like a little tap it. But that's you don't want to do that. Just, just keep it above the metal. Never, I use I never touch the metal. Okay. So right now this is half inch. So on this welder, we're running it at. Okay, now put it on your helmet because if you touch the metal, it's gonna strike it. Okay, put a new rod in there. Why do you have to have a new rod? Just better. See those? You see those grooves? Wait, wait, hold it. You see those grooves in the yeah. yeah. So just clamp it onto there, and yeah. There's many different angles you can use, but I just use like to use the one all the way on the top. The perpendicular. Yeah, the the straight one. Right there. Yeah, right there. And okay. make sure it's just not wiggling. So we're running at 120 on this wall there for half inch. And here, let me. I'll turn it down for you actually, because. It'll be easier to run it a little bit cooler. So, so remember, just tap it? Just tap it. See how the metal is not poking out? Yeah. It's not getting oh, okay. like, uh, enough contact with that metal, so you just want to like break break off that break off that uh, coating. This, yeah, the coating. How do you do that? Just tap it really hard. Uh, it's stuck. Hold on, let me try to find the black. It and hold it. 
Hey, hold it too far, huh? Yeah, you're not you're you're not holding it too far. You're not going down with it as the rod burns down. That's what that's what you're not doing right now. Here, let's clean it up first. Here, let me. The problem is I can't see the rod going down. Hmm? It's hard to see the rod going down. You, you don't really see it, it just... Keep going down, keep going down. Here, try this. You're holding it with two hands, maybe you're getting a little too stiff. Just hold it with one hand like that, and just bring it down. And use the other hand to support yourself against the table or something. Yeah. Is that gonna get too high? No. It's okay. slower so let's say I have this rod you're kind of going like this and when you're when you're starting it what people do is like when they're starting out they tap it and they bring it away mm. when you tap it just just tap it just like keep it like a millimeter up tap it and just keep it right there you know what I mean mm -hmm. and that actually looks really good but just go a little slower and let the pool form up bigger okay so, Hit it against the concrete to let all that coating get off. Mm. What? I didn't follow it. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, see? That looks good. So, when you're starting, you kind of brought it down a little bit too fast. Oh. So when you're starting, just hold it there a little bit longer and just bring it down. Like, just keep everything uh, steady. Like, uh -huh. everything the same pace. So, when you're bringing it out, it was good too. Oh, when you're when you're when you're done welding and you want to bring it away, do it fast. You can either go when you're like going down here, you can bring it up, or you can just pull it away. You mean when you want to stop? Yeah, when you want to stop. Okay. Easier, like a lot of people find it easier to 
start with a short rod. Actually, some people actually even cut it. Oh, okay. Yeah, to make it shorter. So remember, tap, hold, less, less than a millimeter. Mm. Start scratching. Alright, stop real quick. Too fast. Oh, I gave you a. I gotta turn you up to 120. Oh. So you don't like 120? No, I think I was moving too fast. Now, let me turn it back down. I'm gonna turn it down to 115. Alright, that's when you did this one. 115, you did One hand, remember? You're steadier with one hand. The reason why I say one hand is better is because. When people use two hands, they tend to just hold the rod there instead of bringing it down. But like, when you're doing it with one hand, it actually is like the rod is pulling your hand in with it. It's much easier. Alright, let's go. That one is pretty good. You know what helps? It's, it's, it's pretending that this thing is squirting out fire and I have to just keep it close because it's getting shorter. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Let's see what it is. Here, let me show you. Just give me the gloves and the helmet. So the hardest part is actually just continuation. Yeah, starting it is not a problem. This is hot. So what is the what is the lesson here? To to start basically. The lesson is just getting used to it, like you know, getting getting rid of this habit, like like that, or yeah, getting used to the starting. Yeah, even even this is not good. When I tap it and I bring it up that high, yeah. you saw I brought it almost, brought it up almost like two in, two centimeters. Yeah. So when you when I do it, it's actually more like a like, like, like right there, and just keep it really close. Say, you can probably see it through the camera better. So let's say I'm gonna put a rod down here. Mm -hmm. All I do is let me turn it up a little bit. For me, I just pull there and the pull for me. And also, one thing that uh. That's probably affecting right now is the wind. Mm. The wind is actually kind of annoying. Because you can see your your thing like blowing away as you do it. Like it's annoying. But just practice the starts, like doing it and holding it for a second. See how big I got that one? Mm -hmm. Just do a lot of those. I'm curious. Do do like a large pool, like just just hold it there. Yeah. What what, what would happen if you do that? Well, I'm gonna do it up here. We we'll do a hole. Mm, it depends. I don't think on this thing I'll do a hole. Yeah. Just just keep holding it there. What the hell's gonna happen then? 
It's a big blob. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then what? This metal is not thick enough. I mean, it's uh, not thin enough for it to just burn through. And if you get that off. It's a big ball? Yeah. Okay. Damn. I'm gonna run one on here. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.